Hey church family, Pastor Croy here, and uh, I just have a quick thought for you today. Um, this past week I was reading my Bible, and you know, I've read through the Bible quite a few times, and I've read portions of scripture many, many times, and you know, sometimes it's crazy, you, you read a verse that you've read hundreds of times, but you see something different in the verse. You, you, you see something that catches your eye. And in Luke chapter 11, verse 1, the disciples are talking to Jesus. And disciples are great men of God. I mean, a lot of times we don't think about that. A lot of times we think they were just fishermen, which a lot of them were, or whatever their occupation was beforehand. But these, were, these people were great men of God that after Jesus went back to heaven, a lot of them lived a martyr's death. A lot of them, you know, people said, you know, recant Christ or, you know, say you don't believe in him. And they said, no, they'd rather die. And a lot of them did die. Uh, they were killed for their faith. So these aren't just anyone. I look at these people as great men of God that Jesus called for them to follow him. Anyway, but to, but to live with Jesus and spend time with him like disciples did, you'd think they'd probably ask some pretty important questions. If I lived when Christ was around, I mean, if Christ came to earth right now and, and said, ask me some questions, I'd probably have some pretty important ones I want to ask him. And in Luke chapter 11, they're going to ask him a question. And like I said, I didn't really think about it before, but the, what they asked him, they said, Lord, teach us to pray. I said, wow. I said, these guys didn't ask Jesus to teach us to preach. Christ was the best preacher ever. Uh, they didn't say, you know, teach us to heal sick people, because Christ did heal sick people. They, they could have asked anything, but they said, Lord, teach us to pray. They, and they were around Jesus when he prayed. Can you imagine Jesus Christ praying to God the Father? That has to be probably the most incredible experience. I mean, the, the passion in his prayers, I, I, I can't even imagine, honestly. But I'm pretty sure they heard Jesus Christ praying, and they probably said, wow. God teach us, you know, he was God, teach us how to pray. And Jesus talked to him about that. But that just struck a chord in me. These men of God saying that Jesus Christ teach us, teach, teach us to pray is, is, is an important thing. And a lot of times, especially in this day of age, we, I think we take prayer for granted. You know, pray for me, brother. I'll pray for you. You know, you'll be in my prayers, which is a good thing. And we should pray for people. And I don't want to say anyone is at fault for just saying it, but I've, I'm at fault for sometimes just saying, I'll pray for you, and, and sometimes not even doing it. And I don't want to get into that habit of saying, you know, I'll pray for you when, you know, who, who knows if I will or not. But I was thinking about that, and I said, wow, how, how important prayer is. It's, 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 it's gravely important. And I think, like I said, in Christianity, we get so wrapped up in so many different things, you know, about what the Bible says and what version of the Bible we should use and everything what songs should be sung, what songs shouldn't be sung. And, and I've, been, I've been at fault for doing that. Yeah, we, get a, we get away from the basics. A prayer life with Jesus Christ, that's our lifeline, that Jesus Christ was prayer. When God went up to heaven, he said, hey, I'm going to send a comforter. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to you. And a lot of times we take that for granted. Uh, if I need something, I'll just pray. Just pray? Okay, just talk to God? Okay. And I've been at fault at it. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm calling myself out here. But this last week, I was really thinking about it. And I just said, man, I said, I got I to gotta get back to, pr to prayer in my life, like, you know, much more than what I have been doing. And a lot of people struggle with that. The way that helps me to pray is, number one, I, I think you should have a list of things that you do pray for. And I do. I have a, I have a list of things. I have my family on there. Um... You know, obviously my immediate family, my wife and, and my son. Uh, I also have, you know, my parents, my siblings. I have my wife's parents and her siblings. Um, I also have all the pastors on staff here. I have them all. I pray through them all. I have pastors around the country, um, you know, ones I grew up with and ones that have mentored me. I have them on there as well, and I pray for them. I have close friends and relatives. I have missionaries on there. I have uh, teenagers. I have a lot of people on that list that I pray for, and that's something that could help you out. Because if you're just sitting there, sometimes people don't know what to pray for. You know, pray for the people that, that really mean something to your life. 
Um, also something I do is I set a timer. So a lot of time you're sitting down there and you're praying and you're kind of like, I don't know, your mind wanders and, and, and you think like, oh, I've been down here forever. But, you know, just set a timer for like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes and just go through and pray for stuff. And, and a lot of it isn't, Lord, I want this and I need this, help this person, help that person. A lot of prayer is thanking God for what he's given you. A lot of prayer is praising him for who he is, praising him for being king, praising him for his sovereignty, praising him for his power. And a lot of times I get into that mode of prayer where I'm just thanking God for everything and praising him for who he is. And the more you spend time with God, the more that you pray to him, the better your relationship with the, you'll become with him and the more um, you'll understand what prayer is all about. Because once you, when you start out with something, you're kind of obviously new at it, and that's, that's, that's all prayer is. But the more you become in the relationship, the more passionate you become about it, the more it means to you and everything. And I want to encourage you, this week, and this, you know, this country is, a, is more chaos, I think, than we've ever seen. So I think prayer is more important than it's ever been. And I want to encourage you to, to just get on your knees 10, 15 minutes, 20 whatever you feel comfortable with, and this saying, God, help our nation. Help our country to get back to you. So I think that's something that's seriously, obviously lacking in our country. It's lacked in my life. I'm not going to say it hasn't. It's just something, you know, most of these devotionals I put on here is stuff that I struggle with and I want to help others with as well. But this past week, I remember I was really thinking about it, and I said, Lord, help me with this, help me with that, help me to reach our nation, help me to reach the people who come to visit us. And I was really just pleading God to help me in my Christian life. And I want that to be something that, that you're prayerful about as well. And um, I hope this helps you. I hope you spend some more time in prayer this week. And I hope you can uh, you know, get a list and, and, and learn how to communicate and walk with God. The disciples said, teach us to pray. How much more important should we pray as well? So thanks for tuning in, church family. Um, love you. I am praying for you, and we'll see you next time.